away. Um, welcome back. We've got another exciting set of talks for you. We're going to start first with the guy who, uh, and gal, I should say, who everybody loves in this area. Um, this is Eric Carr from Google Fiber. Let's hear it for Eric. Fiber business here in the southeast. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, it's really nice to stand up here today and tell you that we have the, what I think is the most amazing internet service provider available in four southeastern cities. So you can get Google Fiber in Nashville, Atlanta, Charlotte, and the Triangle, uh, which we're very, very excited about. I'll say more about that in a minute. Um, the title for the talk that you all asked for was Inspiration in 15 Minutes, which I thought was kind of a funny thing. Um, given the group and given the comments that Jane made this morning about dial-up, I couldn't not start without a little bit of hijinks. So if you could cue the YouTube, I'd like us to find inspiration in something a little bit unusual. We actually have a new product uh, that we're going to announce today here at City Camp. Um, so if you can Google Fiber, we are passionate about bringing our users super fast internet and ubiquitous connectivity. But as we rolled out in Kansas City, and then in Provo, and then again in Austin, we realized that there was something that we'd overlooked. People didn't have enough time to do the little things in life. We hear you. You want a chance to grab a snack, to text your mom, to run to the restroom. So today, we are excited to announce Dial Up Mode. We're for users to get their time back. We look to Dial Up and he won for inspiration. And we found a solution of all places in meditation. Once we got to the root of the problem, it was easy. By incorporating Dial Up technology into a fiber, we were able to slow the photons down by 376 times, giving you more time to load the dishwasher or her cookies. It turns out there is power. Slowness. <laughs> Switching to dial-up mode is easy. Just select dial-up mode at the top right corner of your browser. Once selected, close your eyes and relax. I video conference for work, and last time my boss asked me a tough question, and I was totally caught off guard. Now I'm faced with a tough question, I just turn on dial-up mode. My face gets all pixelated, my voice gets in and out, and they just rescheduled a meeting. I love dialogue mode. Before dialogue mode, everyone was holding to their devices. Now we can have family time again. I call it dial up and hug. I felt more loved. When traveling with our trusted sisters in Kansas City, we noticed three times more calls to grandma, ten times more hugs, and fifteen times the amount of popcorn you shoot for us. We are encouraged by early results, and we're excited to see what you do with dialogue mode. So what are you waiting for? Dial up and hug. <laughs> Um, and I, I've uh, got to know Jen a little bit. I'll say more about her later uh, from some of my time in Washington. Uh, but before we get into that, let me tell you what happened here uh, in the triangle in the last couple of weeks. Zach, you don't want to know. So we turned on the network, uh, which is pretty slick. So we broke ground probably June of last summer. And we, late, you know, we started our plan to put 5,700 miles of fiber optic cable into this community. Uh, we're not done. We're nowhere close to done. Uh, what, it, what really last week means is we finished the first ring. Uh, so given that we're a technical audience here, the first ring is up. It essentially circles the airport. So it, it goes around to the communities that are all sort of around the airport. So Cary, Morrisville, Raleigh, Durham, you know, kind of everywhere around there. Our connection to the national backbone is in Morrisville. 
Uh, so that's where we actually interconnect to the rest of the internet. And so we did another thing last week, if you go to the next slide, is we actually started saying a couple of things to the community. The first one we said is, uh, we're going to come soon to the rest of you, but if you're in Morrisville, we can take a sign up. Um, and that was a really big moment for us. Uh, we also launched something called Apartment Finder, Fiber Finder, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but right now, if you live in Morrisville, you can go to the Google Fiber website and you can order fiber. Uh, and we actually have people on the network. It's a very small number of people. <laughs> like any massive infrastructure project, we did not choose to start with 100,000 users. We'd rather start with a few, make sure that we're doing an exceptional job of service, make sure that the quality of service of the network is exceptional. What I can tell you is all things are pointed north. Uh, we have the appropriate number of gremlins that you find when you turn on a giant new piece of infrastructure. Uh, but it's all going uh, just swimmingly, and we were really thrilled uh, to kind of do that. So last week we made that announcement, and then we did a couple of other things, uh, if you go on to the next slide. We got out into the community. So again, rather than a huge moment, uh, which we'll have when we're able to serve a lot more customers, uh, we, we're pretty local. So who, is anybody here living in Morrisville? Anybody in Morrisville? Did you notice us at all on your street corners? And... Excellent. Um, so what we wanted to do is, you know, the way we think about this product, it really is for all these communities. Um, and we built it in a way where we can serve lots and lots of people. So the way we tell people about it is pretty local. So if you lived in Morrisville, you probably saw some of these characters. Uh, I was out there with my dog. My dog had a fiber t-shirt on. And everyone was out there just telling people that, hey, fiber's here. And if you live in this location, you know, you can sign up. Um, and then... The other thing we've done, if you can go to the next slide, um, is we do have a little bit of a mobile space. So if you're in Morrisville, if you're over by the food line, or perhaps in your HOA, you'll see this small mobile space there uh, where we are telling people about the, uh, the product. So that's what happened last week. I find inspiration in that. Uh, I've spent a lot of my career trying to advocate for and build better technology that people use. Uh, this, I think, is another great example of that, and we were excited to uh, at least get started here in the triangle. So a couple things I'll, I'll say, because I get asked, there's about four or five questions I get asked any time I walk down the street with a fiber t-shirt on, so I'm going to kind of answer those here, and then uh, we'll, we'll kind of press on from six. So the first question is, when can I get service? Uh, I don't have a good answer. Uh, <laughs> if you live in Morrisville, you can sign up. Uh, we are rolling trucks in Morrisville today. You'll see installers out in the field. And people are getting signed up at Morrisville today and will, uh, you know, for the next month or two. Uh, beyond that, we want to finish our initial population of users and, again, make sure that everything's working properly and then we'll kind of come around to other places. Um, the other thing I'd add is the point of presence to the rest of the Internet is near the airport. Our first ring is around the airport, so if you live closer to that infrastructure, the odds of you getting service soon are better. Uh, we do have a plan to get to all corners of the triangle. Much construction is on its way, but that's just kind of the nature of these things. Um, second question I get asked often is, is it really that fast? <laughs> um, it's got, you know, it's never as fast as you say, and all I can tell you is it's crazy fast. Uh, when you get to use the product, uh, one of the ways that we try to judge our success, uh, when, when asked what would be the ultimate success for Google Fiber, the answer I always give is that if people actually stopped talking about their internet connection, if that just, it was it just no one ever talked about it anymore, and it was just abundant and worked really well and was really fast, then we've succeeded. Um, so that's kind of what we're after. Uh, it's going to take us a long time to get there, uh, but we believe the product is that good. And if it is that good, that's what will happen. You know, it'll become, you know, people don't, they don't spend a lot of time talking about, I mean, like your electricity. I mean, you don't have, you're not like at a party where your friend says, you know, how's your electricity working today? Is it working pretty well today? <laughs> oh, you know, mine was kind of out for a little bit. Like, that's not a normal topic of conversation. Maybe you have that conversation after a storm or something like that. We like internet access to get to that, where it's just not a thing that we talk about. It's abundant. It's really fast. It's easy to use. And then it's a base infrastructure to make stuff, uh, which is what everybody in this room does. It's you make other things that kind of sit on top of the infrastructure that we build uh, and, and you do great things with it. 
Uh, the third question I get, uh, I get asked a lot is, why did you tear up my lawn? <laughs> uh, why did you break my driveway? Uh, so the, the bummer is we're going to do that. Um, and we're probably going to do it more than we want. Uh, we're going to try really, really hard not to do that. Uh, the only promise I can make to you is when we do that, uh, which we will never do deliberately, it will always be just kind of a side effect of a issue on the ground, is we will work really hard to clean up. Um, and we have, I won't go through the details, it's all on the website, and this is a very digital crowd, so you can go, you can call us, so if we ruin your rose garden, you can call us, you can uh, or open a ticket, and that ticket comes to me. Uh, it does not go out into the ether, and people here will work on that ticket. Uh, Tia will work on it, Brittany will work on it, and we will find a way uh, to get through that. Uh, so I cannot promise that we will not tear up a few rose gardens, ruin a few shrubs, blow up a couple of driveways. We're going to have to do that. Uh, but I can promise that we will work really hard and be super responsive to make it right, right after we do it. Um, and I want you to hold us accountable for that. We think that's kind of a responsibility that we have. Last thing, and then we'll kind of press on and introduce Jen. Uh, the last thing is, uh, and I, I'm going to use it, so I don't get this that often, but given the crowd, I'm going to highlight this one. It's, well, how are you working with local government? Um, you know, how is permitting going? Because, you know, we don't, we can't, like Google does not own rights of way. We don't have a way to kind of put this network here without help. And I did want to highlight uh, just how amazing the local governments have been here uh, in the triangle. Uh, I will be honest, we were a little nervous because we are building a network in Raleigh, Durham, Morrisville, Garner, Cary, Chapel Hill, and Carver. Um, so in a lot of cities, you know, like in Charlotte, it's just Charlotte. So there's one, there's one you know, there's one government, you kind of go downtown, and there are people in some buildings, and you talk to them, and you kind of do your thing. Uh, here, there are seven municipalities stretched from, you know, Raleigh to Carver to Gardner. Um, and we were a little nervous that, boy, that's going to be, that's going to be a lot of work. And it's going to be hard to stay coordinated because we didn't. We built a network for the whole triangle. We didn't say, okay, here's the here's the carry network, here's the rally network. It doesn't work that way. It's a it's a municipal network that we've designed and we're building. And I have been just thrilled uh, with all the, the kind of great working relationship we've had with all the local governments. Uh, we're new in town. We certainly had a lot to learn about your permit processes, about how all these things work. Uh, and I just can't thank. Uh, all of you enough, there are several familiar faces in here who I've been at lots of meetings with. Uh, most of those meetings have been really good. Sometimes we would make a boo-boo. We also appreciate that you're holding us accountable and you're patient with us and we do make those boo-boos. Uh, but I just, uh, the, the funny part is, even though we were a little nervous about some of the municipalities, it's actually worked out great. Um, and I think all the municipalities have kind of recognized that this is a moment as a community where everybody kind of has to do their part if we want to have a municipal network of this scale and this shape uh, that can serve as many people. So uh, I don't get that question all the time, but given this group, that's the kind of question I think uh, folks like, uh, like y'all would ask. So, Lori, that was, that was all I had to say. You know, I'm very inspired by what we're doing. I, I know this crowd. I, I hear from many of you, so I, I know you're glad we're here. Uh, 